Hi guys! So recently I have been purchasing a ton of books, which isn't anything new. My channel's about reading and writing. And then I realized that I had so many books that I didn't really want to film only one video because it would take a really long time. So I'm actually going to break down my book haul into four separate videos. I'm going to separate it based off of where I purchased the books from. So it's going to be broken up into book depository book haul, a used bookstore book haul, an Amazon book haul, and a Barnes and Noble book haul. Hope you guys like book hauls because you're going to be getting a lot of that in the next couple of weeks. This actually works out perfectly for me because I needed to pre-record some videos anyway as I'll be going out of the country on Tuesday next week, which is crazy. Actually, by the time I upload this, it will be Tuesday of next week. So if you're watching this, I'm on a plane to Iceland. Anyway, as for which of the book hauls I'll be filming today, I'm going to be doing the used bookstore book haul because that's the pile of books that's closest to me. The first book I got from my local used bookstore is Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. Sanderson is obviously really well known for his fantasy works and specifically a lot of times his adult fantasy works, but I've only recently discovered that he has books in basically every age category. I'm really curious to see how his writing style transfers into young adult works, so when I saw that they had this at my local bookstore, I had to snatch it up. The next book I got from the used bookstore was The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I've seen, if you watch Pages and Pens, I've seen her talk about this book in multiple videos and she mentions that she thinks that this book is so good but it gets such a bad rep because of the fact it was written by Stephanie Meyer. I'm gonna rant for just a little bit and I honestly think that Stephanie Meyer gets way too much negativity thrown at her. I think that the Twilight books First off, I don't think that they're that bad. People treat her writing like it's the worst thing they've ever read. And in my head, I'm like, uh, there are a lot of books that are way worse. When I read them, I read them in high school and they were entertaining and they were pretty addictive. They made you want to keep turning the page and find out more. And they got a lot of people into reading. And it, I feel like they weren't really made fun of as much as they are to the degree they are now until the movies were released. It's like if you guys have ever seen those little bookmarks or little memes or whatever that say like, don't judge a book by its movie. That's kind of how I feel about that series. I'm not saying that they're the best things ever written, but they're also not the worst things ever written. So ranting aside, I've heard this book is fantastic and it was in really good condition. It was like $8 for this book, so. Uh, I had to snatch it up too. The next book I got was not on sale at my local bookstore, but it was so inexpensive that I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it anyway. And that would be the second book in The School for Good and Evil. This is a middle grade series and it's about these two girls who, in their world, they either get sent to a school to learn to be the villains or they get sent to a school to learn to be the heroes. And these two girls think that they're each gonna go to one school and they end up getting placed in the opposite. I purchased the first one a little while ago and I haven't read it yet, but I've heard amazing things about it. So when I saw that they had the second one and it's so inexpensive, middle grade books are super cheap. I figured at my local bookstore, you get a stamp for every like $10 you spend and I needed like a few more dollars. So I figured this would be the perfect book to grab for that. And speaking of that stamp system, whenever you reach 10 stamps, you get a free $10 at their store. And so I had my eye on the book Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, and this was not used, it was not on sale, and that's kind of why I was like, oh, once I get my $10 off, I want to get that book because it's really expensive, but it sounds really cool. I don't know a ton about the plot other than it's kind of about a girl who is learning to become an assassin and she wants revenge. That's all I really needed to know. That plot alone sounds awesome. Anything to do with assassins, I want to read. The last book I got from the local bookstore was The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon and I actually hadn't heard about this book until I started watching booktube, which apparently is crazy because I guess it's really well known. The book follows a girl who works in the criminal underworld in the future and she has the ability to break into people's minds so she's very valuable and she ends up getting kidnapped. I know a lot of you have probably already read this book and I'm super super late to the party but I thought it sounded really interesting and I was so excited when I saw they had it on sale and I believe there's a new book out by this author so I just I need to get with it. Anyway there you go guys there is part one of my giant book haul. If you guys have read any of these books let me know in the comment section down below. I know some of them are pretty new and some of them are not 
but if you know about them or you've heard good things or if you want to read them too let me know that in the comment section down below and let me know if you agree that stephanie meyer's twilight series gets way too much hate because i mean some people really didn't like them but i feel like a lot of people used to and now they're afraid to admit it Anyway, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos, and check out some more of my videos right over here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again in another book haul video, likely wearing this exact same outfit. Bye!